Hello, welcome to my channel and today I'd like to bring you a very look, a very light look. Um, it's not a very dark, as you can see, it's not a very dark look. Um, it's easy to do and it's not a very common look that you can just see you know, when you walk down the street. And I think with a very light color, um, it makes your eyes brighter and happier. Um, and so if you would like to see how I did this look, then please keep watching. Okay, to begin this look on the other eye, um, I want to start by using the Maybelline Color Tattoo and very branded. So as you can see, as everybody knows, this is a cream eyeshadow uh, with some shimmer in it. And so we're going to apply that to the area right above our upper lashes, okay, staying under the crease. Uh, when I say crease, uh, I'm talking about the oriental crease, which is not the same as uh, the double eyelid line. So this is my crease right here. So I'm going to stay below that area, okay, because in my particular eye type, um, my crease is deep and it is um, drooping. So it goes from here, it goes like that. So I don't want my eyes to look droopy, and so I want to deflect attention from that area. And so what I do is I just not put anything in that area, okay? I might, you know, blend into that area very slightly, but not really put anything substantial in that area. Okay, Elf and then after that, uh, eye transformer and in the color green. So the green um, is this, and if you're not familiar with this product, this product is supposed to um, transform your eyeshadow, uh, give it a different tinge, um, and it works the best with eye sh dark eyeshadows, especially dark metallic eyeshadows. And since we are using a very light eyeshadow it's not really going to show but supposedly my goal is to make it a little bit greenish here in the outer corner so let me put a little bit of that transformer eyeshadow in the outer corner and as you can see you can hardly see the effect okay and then I want to put some of this, and I'm going to be using this um, Kat Von D Shape Shifter, Shade Shifter, not Shape Shifter, Shade Shifter um, eyeshadow um, in the color On the Road. And this um, is a reddish brown eyeshadow uh, cloaked with a layer of green shimmer at the top. So when you move your eye, it kind of shifts from brown to green, brown to green, like that. So um, this is wet or dry, and so let me, supposedly, in order to activate or to fully activate the uh, effect of the shade shifting, um, you're supposed to use it wet. But either way, I've, I've found that whether it's wet or dry, it gives a, a nice effect, and the effect is still there, okay? So let me put that in my outer corner like so and you can see that it is more of a brown shade okay let me go closer i wonder if you can see the greenish tinge i think there's a faint greenish tinge so let me add a little bit more see can you see that? And so also to intensify the greenish tinge, um, I want to put in or apply some Milani baked eyeshadow and this is uh, in Green Fortune. And this also you can use wet or dry. Look at those wonderful, beautiful colors. Huh? I was really entranced when I saw this in the store and I just had to get it. So this I also use wet there. And I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of where I got, you know, in the area where I had applied the shade shifter on the road, okay, to make it more green. And as you know, you know, for brown eyes, green is really nice. It, uh, you know, just look at the trees outside your window and you can see green and brown really go together. Okay. All right, so then, then um, I would like to put 
some of this plum eye pencil. What did I do? Okay, right here. This is the Jordana Metal Rocks uh, eye pencil in Purple Prism. And I do it from the outside in. In my, I don't put that in my lower lower lash uh, area. So I'm just going to blend it a little bit. You don't have to use this particular, um, this particular, how do you say, this particular shade or this particular pencil. Um, you can use a, um, an eyeshadow because I think this has been discontinued by Sephora a long time ago. This is a purple, purple um, pencil in 504. 504 is the color, so I don't know if you can still find this now, but you know, put it here in the inner, near the middle of your eye, above where you had put the plum, okay? Like so. And blend it a little bit. Blend it back and forth, okay? But keeping within the, um, you don't want it to go too much too, too much further into your inner corner. Okay, so keep it from the middle of your eye going out like so. Okay, and then you can intensify it later if you want. We put our Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black brown. You can also use um, the H2O Wet n Wild Mega Liner, which I think is the best uh, which I think is the best eyeliner in the world. Uh, it is um, smudge proof and waterproof. And um, I have a review on that. Um, it stays until you take it off. But this is what I have at home, so this is what I'm using now. See, so I line from the middle of my eye going out. I don't line from the very beginning going out because I have close set eyes. And the more that I, the more that I um, line, I mean, the closer to the middle that I line my eye, my eye looks smaller, uh, closer together, and my eyelid, my double eyelid, what little that I have disappears. So I just do the, from the middle of my eye going up. Okay, there. And so while that's drying, of course you have to wait for it to dry. Don't open your eyes so big, so small. Don't move it up and down. You know, just go like this. Like you are um, kind of sleepy, but not quite. And let that dry. Okay, just let that dry. And so the next step is to apply the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Strawberry Milk. It's a little frosted pink shade. And you just apply it to your lower uh, lash waterline area and then get another get a pink eyeshadow to top the um, the strawberry milk so I have this sweet as candy wet and wild um, eyeshadow but you can use any pink shimmery eyeshadow you can get the naked three get uh, the um, you can get a uh, pink uh, eyeshadow there. It doesn't really matter. Um, just use that pink eyeshadow. And then to make your lower eye, I mean your lower lashes not disappear, we can line our eye again a little bit using the on the road. And it's hardly noticeable. It's not very not very discernible but it has an effect so this is the finished eye you can apply mascara you know curl your lashes um, put false eyelashes if you wish um, next is for me to apply some blush um, the blush that i'm going to be using is one that i had reviewed it is the Shimmering Facial Whip from e.l.f. and this is in the color Pink Lemonade. You can also use Persimmon if you wish. Just a little teensy weensy dot like this, so dot one, dot two, and that's all you need. That is more than enough. And let us blend it. See? 
you really don't need a lot you just a teeny bit and it's still too pink I look like I'm sick or I'm related to a clown so um, let's put some powder on top of it or and or we can um, use a, a damp uh, sponge and kind of sponge it out let's get some powder and kind of tone it down a little bit And let me put on my lips and I'll be right back. Forgot to tell you to brighten up the inner corner. You can apply some of the Maybelline color tattoo and put some a base shadow on top of it and put it in your inner corner here of your tear duct area. And it, you know, dispels some, if you have some uh, under eye circles, it kind of you know distracts the viewer from that and it makes you look happier your eyes look wider and um, there so let me put on my uh, the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back hi so this is the finished look um, I had used the NYX macaron uh, lipstick in rose let me show you the color it's a very light bright color and this is the line that has the green lipstick the purple the yellow lipstick orange lipstick and then I topped it with the elf cool coral because it was too pink even for me um, cool uh, coral and this is kind of like a coral color with flecks of gold and a hint of pink and um, see look at the pink that I had smeared on top of that but anyway it tones down the pinkness of the other lip color and then um, on top of the, my uh, my whole face I put the hard candy uh, baked bronzer in tiki let me open it so you can see the beautiful color this gives a, a little bit of a golden sheen to my skin because sometimes you know after I put some blusher I look too pink or my foundation is not golden enough in tone so this compensates for that it's very light not to be really uh, called a, uh, used as a bronzer but um, for our purposes I use it as an all over face powder and so I hope you like this look um, I'm going to be linking below the um, Kat Von D shade shifter review and dupe uh, video and um, also maybe I'll uh, put in a couple of other, other videos you might like to watch in conjunction or that would be related to this look and so um, I hope you enjoyed watching and um, see you next time bye